Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be the first of a spill segment that I'm going to be starting on my channel. I'm really, really excited about this because you're just going to get ready with me. It's going to be super natural. I'm not going to go over products or anything I'm using, but I'm really just going to get into deep discussions about topics that I really want to dive into and shed some light on. Um, so firstly, I just want to say Thank you to everybody who participated in the Selfie Love Strong campaign. It was a self-love campaign for women in order to um, have us address what does self-love mean to us and how do we reclaim self-love and share our story on social media and enter into a contest. I just really thought and think it is so important for us to take the time to stop our busy lives and sort of address, you know, what does self-love mean to you? Because it is such an important topic and it takes time and sometimes you lose it. Sometimes you lose track of yourself and you know, you have to remind yourself why it's important, why you're important, why loving yourself is important because if you can nurture and love yourself, then whatever you put into the universe, whatever you give back is 10 times greater. So wrapping that up, um, that's the first thing, but I'm supposed to be getting ready. That's the whole, defeating the whole purpose of, <laughs> uh, is getting ready and chit chat with me essentially. So um, the first thing that I want to really address, I guess, well, after the self love uh, wrap up is perception versus reality on social media. I think that, you know, this is something that might mean something different to everybody. Uh, any any different individual based off of your morals your values based off of what you do for a living based off of your you know relationship status uh, family status you know where you are at in life but at the end of the day social media has become the way of the world so we are as individuals as a common denominator we're mostly all on it and you know whether we're interacting for social purposes or we're you know using it as a business tool or networking tool uh, a branding tool there's very many facets to the world the realm of social media and with that and you know I'm understanding this as I put myself out here more and I do not, do not have my ah I didn't put my concealer on the table so you're gonna have to bear with me a sec Okay, I'm back. I am so sorry. I couldn't even find the concealer that I wanted to use today. Um, okay, so we're just going to use this Bobbi Brown one. I don't, I, I'm starting not to like this formula though. Okay, so back to uh, perception versus reality on social media. I want to make this kind of quick. I don't want to be here ranting for forever, but I do have a point to all of this. What you see is not always what what it is. There's reasons for everything. You know, I personally curate my, my Instagram page as a, a tool to brand myself. Um, but yes, I'm a mom, you know, yes, I'm a businesswoman, a, a serial entrepreneur. I have many ideas going, many things that I'm trying to work at and achieve. And, you know, I'm currently transitioning um, my nine to five my normative nine to five schedule, it's in a transitioning period. So I've had a little bit more free time to sort of work on Sorry, my nails are so horrible. Uh, I keep saying sorry, but I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Um, you know, I've had a little bit more free time to work on my creative side. So everything looks all exciting and glamorous. And obviously I post the most exciting things because you know what? No one really posts. You don't post your negatives online, but you don't know what people are going through. You post your happy moments. You post the moments that are, that mean something to you or that are visually appealing, uh, you know, but one thing that I find on the social world is I don't want to overexpose my son. And I've, uh, I'll link the blog post below. I did a blog post on this uh, a few months ago. I don't want to overexpose my son on social media. And yes, I'm heavily present on it. And, you know, I do expose the B-roll, the behind the scenes of my life, more on my, I guess, story on Instagram. But I don't know who's watching and who's not. Um, I haven't posted much of my son on my actual feed just because I don't this my social media is is not necessarily a place where I want to expose oh I just don't even know what I just did expose my son 
Um, and that's a personal choice. There's, there's many reasons, there's many behind the scene reasons why that is a personal choice that I've made. And I, I choose to keep that private. Uh, oh my gosh, I still have the sniffles. Bear with me, guys. I've been sick the past week. Um, so it hasn't been fun. But yeah, so perception versus reality. Some may think, you know, oh, like she doesn't post her son often enough. And I mean, I've come across lately a little bit of social media backlash from what I believe are people hiding behind fake accounts. Um, but either way, that I'm not even going to shed light on that because it doesn't matter because those people's opinions don't mean much to me because they're false. So I'm not going to shed light on that sort of negativity, but I'm not for, and I took to social media to say this last weekend, that I'm not for internet trolls and cyber bullies and putting people down online. I'm here to lift people up. If you interact with me, I want our exchanges to be something meaningful, to be something that you walk away from meeting me or having an exchange with me and saying like, wow, you know, she really changed my perspective on that or damn, I like that she's a positive person. Not everybody is going to be on this positivity wave or believe in themselves, but it took me time to get here. It took me time to be this person that I am and that I'm sharing, uh, I guess I'm sharing really who I am more on social media. I'm being more open to giving you guys a little bit more of the behind the scenes of my life and what I'm about because I, I am a very private person and I respect my privacy. Um, for various reasons, you know, and I <clears throat> and I don't shun people who post too much about their lives, and I don't, you know, shun the people that <clears throat> have, sorry, maintain their mystery. There's there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Everything has a time and a place, and I think social media is a personal preference. You know, is it a business tool for you? Is it just something that you want to be on and interact with people and get to know people? Like, that's not really what it is for me. Um, I'm just here to shed positivity, shed my story, shed light on exactly who I am so you guys can get familiar with me and I do this as I build my brand, as I build my brand as an individual, you know, as I gear up to launch my, pardon me, I'm still sick, uh, as I gear up to launch to see my uh, new clothing brand and lifestyle uh, luxury streetwear, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so that's essentially why I'm online. I mean, yes, I'm a mom and I love my son so much. And, you know, the crazy thing with social media and being online is everything that gets put out, it basically is stored in a cloud. It's never really gone. And, you know, you have to be really mindful of how you treat people and what you say and what you put out on social media because that stuff can creep up to you in the long run. And at the end of the day, you know, I just want to be a positive figure for my son to look up to. And that's my only aim in life right now is to better myself and to be this strong, independent woman. And I will not stop until I get there. I'm kind of all over the place right now with what I'm trying to do with my makeup. Okay, maybe I should put on my eyeliner. So with that being said, perception versus reality on social media can mean so many different things for different people and I'm all for positivity and I'm all for supporting one another you know my fellow Instagrammers and creatives and entrepreneurs you know people working their nine-to-five pushing you know to fulfill their dreams and their, their, their bigger picture their bigger goals the people that are still finding themselves because <laughs> I know I'm still here I'm still finding myself I'm still growing into the woman that I'm called to be so it's an exciting process and it's sometimes a struggle and sometimes balance isn't, is, isn't easy um, but let me just put this on really quick because I'm really bad at multitasking clearly I cannot even talk and put this on okay okay I'm back um, okay so yeah basically you know Posting what you want to post, curating your feed how you want to curate your feed doesn't necessarily portray exactly one's character. You know, there's so much more behind the scenes in a person's life. There's so much more that you don't know. But there's, if someone's willing to share their journey and you are an observer, a spectator, whatever you are, 
take the time to dive into what they're sharing. And if you vibe with it, then hey, let them know. I know I love the positive feedback that I've been receiving lately. And in terms of the negatives, I'm just gonna keep that stuff out of sight, out of mind. You know, I know my purpose in life and I know that I adore my son so much and I know that I have so many goals that I want to fulfill in life and I'm just gonna keep pushing and I'm not gonna let any negativity that, you know, I happen to come across because that's just life, especially as, you know, we grow into this technologically based society that we're living in where, you know, face to face communication is not really the norm, you know, it's behind a screen essentially. And that's how you we're now making meaning of things and, and putting faces to names and putting personality traits to people, but yet it's through their social media, you can sit down with a person and they could be the complete opposite of what you thought they were based off of what you just visually saw, you know, curated on their feed. And I just really hope that if you're on social media, you know, if you're following people, if you're spreading messages, spread positive ones, you know, don't be out here being that negative energy and those vibrations, they radiate and it doesn't, it's not becoming of people. And internet bullies, cyber bullies and internet trolls and, and negative people, I feel sorry for those types and I really hope that they can find some love and some light in their life and spread those messages as opposed to negative ones. But um, once again, everybody has a backstory. So until I've walked a day in your shoes, I can't pretend to sit here and pretend to think and know that I know who a person is because if I don't know you, I don't know you. But I just hope that Whatever you take from me is not negative, but I have to understand that not everybody, and this is something that I'm growing to know and I'm grappling, not grappling with, but I'm, I'm getting to understand that not everybody has the same heart as you do. So just be who you are. That's, that's my, I guess, overarching message. Be who you are and, you know, shed love and light and be a person that people want to be around and people want to look up to and people, you know, take something positive rather than negative from. I'm just, I cannot stress that more. But if you're not on my positivity wave, that is okay. I don't blame you. You know, you might be going through something. I can't make everybody be on my team or be on my side. But if you mess with me, I truly, truly adore you. And I just hope that I can continue to be a woman of inspiration because that is essentially, I can't multitask, like I really can't. <laughs> that is essentially my aim. So I kind of like didn't put my lip gloss here. Mind you, I had filmed this video, but it didn't transfer over to my computer properly. I don't understand why, but it's okay. Technology, Mercury is probably in retrograde, so. We'll just let that let that be. Oh, ouch. I'm gonna put some blush. I mean I have my Kopari lip balm on, so it's not that bad. Not that incomplete when it comes to the finished final makeup look for the day. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I just wanted to say thank you for hearing my rant, my first spill segment. It was fun. It was really, really fun. I'm gonna play this back and probably be like, what the hell was I saying? But I thank you for taking the time to listen. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, if there's something that you wanna hear me spill on, just leave a comment below and I will respond, okay? Okay, bye guys. Peace. I love you.